Hello and welcome to File Center 9. In this video, we're going to go over the new features that are available to both File Center Standard and File Center Professional users. The first new feature is probably one of our most popular feature requests back and forward navigation buttons here in the main view. Clicking these takes you back through previous locations where you've been recently, or of course, back forward again. And the thing that's going to set a new location in the history is when you come to a location and you touch a file. At that point, that location becomes a new history item. Our next new feature is folder status indicators. And let's take a quick look at that. If I come to this drawer, you're going to notice that some of these folders have little red icons on them. Those red icons mean that those folders are empty. Now you can display red icons to indicate an empty folder or green icons to indicate a folder that has contents. And to turn on this feature you come here to Settings, Manage Files, and you'll see Folder Status Indicator right there. And of course you can also just turn those off completely. Our next features all deal with naming options. First of all, we'd like to point out quickly that here in Settings, we now have a new option here, Date Formats. This is a place where you can come and set up your own date formats that you use with naming options. You can eliminate the ones that you never use, and you can add your own favorites right here. That's worth pointing out. Next, we've given you the ability to shift dates when you use the current date in one of your naming options. And let's give you an example of that. If we come here to Correspondence, we've got this file, Letter. It's a terrible name. We need to give that a better name. So let's rename this file. And we're going to come into the Advanced Naming Options, pop this up. And notice right here, it shows the current date up above. And you'll see that that's reflected in these naming options right here, which use the Current Date field. Well, I can change this. For example, let's say that this file was actually produced last Wednesday. I'll select that date. And you'll notice that now that has changed inside of the naming options. Again, the ones that use the current date. If I say OK, the file is renamed and it automatically picked up that date that I selected. Next, we've expanded the power of custom lists. Let's come over here to our naming dialog and select the custom lists. I have two lists here. Here's one that's got my staff members. And here's one that has a few document types. Let's edit this list. And you're going to notice a new option here with the custom lists, Add Field. This lets you put some of your naming option fields right in the custom lists, which can save a little bit of time in clicking. And it gives a little bit more power and flexibility to custom list items. For example, let's suppose that we wanted to include a date after some of these documents. Let's insert the current date. We click Add Field. The date goes in there. We give it the closing parenthesis, and there we go. Now, whenever I use this document type, it's automatically going to include the current date in there. And that can be a nice feature for some users. Next, we've given you the ability to filter some of your naming options. If you're one of the users who has dozens and dozens and dozens of naming options, you understand that you can get tired of scrolling through them to find the one that you're looking for. This feature is going to help you a lot. If we come over here to Naming Options, uh, let's edit one of these naming options right here. Now, this naming option deals with correspondence. Let's suppose that I only want this naming option to show up if I'm in a correspondence related context inside a file center. And here's where a new feature comes into play. You're going to notice here, Filter on Folders. I'm going to place an item right here, Correspondence. Here's how this works. In File Center, if I'm in a folder called Correspondence, this naming option is going to show up. Otherwise, it will be hidden. Let's do that for this one. And also, this one is also Correspondence related. I'm going to click Edit, put Correspondence right there, Let's say OK and Close. Now, inside of File Center, you'll notice that I'm inside of a Correspondence folder. So if I try to, for example, rename this, you'll see that those two items show up. 
because they're both correspondence related. But if I come, for example, here to checklists and I try to rename this file, well, notice those correspondence related items no longer show up. So this is a very nice way for you to be able to categorize your naming options. And there are a few very powerful features. You'll want to check the documentation and understand fully how that works. Now I do want to quickly point something out. Back here when we were editing these naming options, some of you may have noticed that we have two new fields right here. Zone OCR text, which is actually able to take text out of the document and use it in your file name and barcode text, which can extract text from a barcode and use that in your name. Unfortunately, those two are only available to File Center professional users. So if you think that those would be of interest to you, contact our sales department and get an upgrade to File Center professional. Now our last feature that we wanted to point out is right here, Import and Export Settings. Now you won't use these very often, but they can be a really nice feature for you to, for example, back up your settings with, or if you've got File Center set up just the way you want on one machine, you can export your settings, go over to the other machine, import your settings, and clone your File Center setup. So there you have it, some really nice new features available to you in File Center 9. Now if you happen to be a File Center professional user, Please take a look at the companion video so that you can see some of the powerful new features that are available to you. Now, if you're on an older version of File Center and you're not upgraded automatically, please contact our sales department because you'll definitely want to get on this new version of File Center, which not only has some enhancements to it, but it also runs very, very nicely on Windows 10.